Hey there, ladies and joyums, Zelta McFall here. It is a perfect, gorgeous summer evening here in Montreal, Quebec. And we are July 2019. What day is it? I think it's the 24th, Le 24 juillet. And I had seen this baby for sale for a while on Kijiji because although I don't have any classic cars due to a serious visual impairment, I can dream, baby. I can dream just like Elvis would sing, you know what I'm saying? That's a very groovy car. 73, if I remember correctly. Guy had the hood open before. It was a, a good old big ass slant six. Not sure if it was a 225 or the other one. I don't remember what it's called. Just great styling on these cars, you know? I always thought it was interesting when, uh, you know, in 1973, the U.S. government came out a federal mandated. Uh, big, excuse me. I know who this guy is too, you know? This guy one time, he took a picture of me and I said, why'd you take a picture of me? He says, oh, uh, he says, because uh, you look like a car guy. What the hell is that? What, what's that all about? You know, then he offered me a ride to go to Granby, which is coming up actually Saturday, which is the largest classic car show in, in Canada. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take a ride with a stranger. Yeah, that sounds right. Sure. What am I, a hitchhiker? Vagabond? Anyway, this car's got an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous golden paint. It's fantastic. But you know what's weird about this car, though, is these BBS type wheels. I don't hate them, it's just very strange on this car. I mean, I tell you, this car's for sale and I would buy it in a heartbeat. And that's the first thing I would change is those wheels. And I would put some nice stock rims on it, stock Mopar rims, whatever, 15 inch, 14 inch. Big ass tires, cop, uh, you know, dog dish cop car tires, because that's the look it has. That's what people think of when they see these cars. It's a police, you know, these were popular with the police departments. They're police, popular as taxi fleets, uh, company cars. What I was trying to say before, when this guy was flapping his uh, his lips there, actually, watch out, lady. There's a Dodge coming. Just to go along with things. That's what I'm talking about. Dog dish hubcaps, just like that. Same thing. You know? And uh, what I was trying to say before the guy started talking is that in 1973, the American government mandated a law where all car, car companies had to have what's known as five mile per hour crash resistant bumpers so that the car didn't crumble into pieces. Okay! Uh, you know, so I don't know why, but Chrysler didn't have the larger bumpers like Ford and GM, which is really strange. So what they did to pass, pass the... Uh, this mandatory regulation, they added these rubber blocks to the front and back, so you might have noticed that on the front. So I always thought that was very strange. So you see most of their cars look like that, that Cadillac over there, these just big, big bumpers there. You know? What's that there? GTO! Yeah, man! Right here by the old orange julep, which I've been attending now 20 years. And uh, it's one of the few things in the city I still cherish, you know? Look at that, a very original interior, very original interior. Look at the seat pattern, plain Jane, man. Business only, typical old school green. Look at that, the dashboard was actually different from my friend's 75, uh, 76 Plymouth Fury, he had one like this. Is that Andrew? Oh no, he's got cutouts. I thought it was my friend Andrew showing up with his Biscayne 409. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at that, original wiper blades. It's kind of funny to see that considering those are hideaway wipers and uh, it didn't, wouldn't really matter that much if they were the black ones, the black modern ones. So it's just a really cool car. I wish I had gotten a side view of it before that Camaro showed up, but eh, you know, you do what you can and uh, so you see what I mean? Look at the size of those, block, those blocks, they're even bigger than in the back, you know? Interestingly also, this car is a 73, but if you go back like six years, on the Chryslers, that grill was in exactly the same type of style. So it was like kind of a flat look here and then the grill was more pushed in over here. And same thing with 68. And the guy is next to me, I know that's his car because he's all happy I'm filming because he hears me, knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was like, the what, thing. Man, man, this guy knows. The vehicles are urgent, the vehicles are urgent, the avions, the trains, everything, transportation. Oh, man, wow, so you've probably seen some of my videos, I'm sure of it. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to subscribe to your page. <laughs> would you do me a favor since there's not much weight? Would you mind starting up that 225? Of course. Is it a 225 or is it the other one? It's the other one. The 240. It's like a slightly bigger. Oh, thanks, man. That's great. 
Yeah, because you know when you're a show like this, all V8, V8, V8. I love V8s, but it's just that these types of cars and these motors are not appreciated. Enough. We don't want to start. There we go. Runs great, man. It's no wonder why they made these motors for decades, man. It's amazing. They were they were more. Perf Il y avait plus de performance que les autres sur la ligne. Il était plus économique. How far have you driven this car? Uh, Magog. Wow. Uh, that's <laughs> okay. That's not that far. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no, we bought it four years ago. But the person before us was going to Oh, Spain. you just bought it? Yeah, just oh, bought it. Oh, 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 he just bought it. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, man. I just want to get a little sound here. Beautiful. What a great runner. Oh, the guy just bought it. I thought he was the one selling it on TGG. Oh, you can shut it off, Rafael. Yeah, yeah.